he's been getting from your subs, guys, I'd be, yeah. able, to, <laughs> be able to help his commentators not feel the cold. Sub. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Final destination, game number one. We got Sinji fighting off against King Ark. All right, so interesting matchup here. Uh, Mega Man has just the sort of pressure that you want against Sinji's Pac-Man. Get in close, not so close that you get yourself hit, and just make sure he doesn't set up, which is Mega Man's optimal range. But once Pac-Man gets the setups, I feel he has a much more difficult time. Yeah. And a lot of the times when you're fighting against Mega Man, I was actually talking to King Ark about this specific matchup, just in case he had to fight against him, mm -hmm. uh, because I ended up fighting him earlier. Uh, King Ark, he he, re he recognized that we were talking about that, like the Fire Hydrant is pretty much a huge decider of the match. A lot of the times, Pac-Man wants his opponent to hit the Hydrant first so that he can get the finishing blow on it. Which is why you'll, never, you'll notice that Sinji never hits this Hydrant unless he has a lot of distance, like right there. But there was no way for King Ark to make any sort of that, you know, make, make that distance to the dash. So. Exactly. And the thing with um, Pac-Man setups, right, is that Hydrant is uh, very crucial to that because it uh, extends hitboxes, like you said. But if you respect his setups too much, he has a lot of variance as to where he ends his pressure from full screen, and then he can start setting up again. So then it's, okay, I've got to go in, but then he can throw things out early. So say, for example, uh, back there, he had Hydrant, he kicked Hydrant over, whatever. He charged Fruit again, he could have put Hydrant down again, etc. Or he could have left Hydrant out, started charging Fruit again, things like that. He's got enough variety that if you let him get his space, you really have to work to get back in. You can't just wait him out, Yeah, which is important. Yeah, it's, it's imperative. I got Sinji, 126%. Got the belt. Nope, that's cool. King Ark's going to be able to live that, you know, dying like the god that he is. Yep. Kai, I think that's what he wanted to do the first time, because now that the bell's in his court, there's not much that Sinji can do in this situation if he wants to hold on to it. And, Sin and Pac-Man's got a lot of tools he can do without yeah. the A button. I mean, he's going to try to get the bell and get the kill himself. But mm -hmm. as long as you hold on to that item, like, Pac-Man loses a lot of tools. He gets a lot of mileage off that neutral B. He does. And Mega Man, arguably one of the stronger characters who can play two only uh, special moves if he really chooses to hold on to that. But King Ark deciding to use it for his offense there doesn't quite... Ooh, so my man that was, was gross. chilling on that hydrant. Got the four <laughs> smash coming off, and Pac-Man just sends him flying. I think he got stuck there. It looked like. I it, feel like King Ark wanted to get like, off the hydrant. He like clipped Mega Man's toes there. Got yeah. him on the little Robo Crux. Uh -huh. Whatever he's got. Okay, All good right. on King Ark. He's respecting the recovery. He's got Sinji. Mm -hmm. Good like, tomahawk there. That he's... percent is looking mad brown. Yep, we got it. All right. Waits out. See, that was an interesting option there because if he had thrown out a move, he would get stuck in the hit lag. Very good. And he would have been pushed back with the Hydrant as well, which would have set up for a Pac-Man punish. I love that little setup that King Art does where he like throws the, the crash bomb at the opponents the second they spawn in. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you gotta be unpredictable with how you spawn in now against this character. Yeah, absolutely. And then doesn't let them uh, get as much pressure up. Okay, leaves you for a little bit of damage. This is... Pac-Man, especially with how Cindy plays him, is sort of a war of attrition sort of character. Very oh. nice conversions there. Yeah. Good look. King Ark okay. was recognizing that Cindy was DIing in the whole time. He was trying to play. He was trying to respond. To his rebuttal was an aggressive option, you know. Mm -hmm. So you're right. just capitalizing on that right now as much damage as possible. Good conversion off the metal blade into up smash. Absolutely. Obviously, he's at too low a percent for that to actually get a, any sort of kill. Mm -hmm. This is where he wants to put pressure on Cindy. Gets knocked away back behind the hydrant. No, oh, went for the grab. It was a smart idea, but it doesn't quite catch him in time. At least he didn't get punished for it. All it did was just give up some stage space against Sinji. Forward smash, gonna catch that tech. I mean, that's a good option select right there. Would've caught the tech roll in as well. Connects the bell into a back here. Has him off stage. He's holding onto the apple. He yep. wants to try to catch him off guard. The apple has a lot of knockback. Yep. Oh, nice! Nice setup off the up air, but still living. Great DI coming out from Sinji. Off stage, gonna use the first trampoline jump to get back onto the stage. That was unfortunate. Read the uh, air dodge, but did not read that he would go so low with it. Allows him to recover, catching a little bit of percent. It's just so a awkward. hair too oh, far away. That would have been just an inch closer, man. All right. Catches him. That grab. that grab lasts a long time. That goes through spot dodges. It goes through rolls. You're gonna have to respect it. And you know that's one of the things that isn't so much change about the move. That was very smart about pushing the bell away a little bit. And I'm not sure if that um, takes away the hitbox or not. But definitely waiting it out in a smart way. Um, but that has not changed about uh, Pac-Man so much. His grab has always had that ability to catch spot dodges, things like that. But now that it's faster to whiff, you see it a lot more. Uh, but it is. Uh, I, honestly, I saw King Art go for that running grab. The, I mean, obviously, with Sinji, he's able to go for the spot dodge immediately. I feel like he maybe should have just chilled back and did, like, an F smash. He was talking about how safe F smash is now for Mega Man compared to, like, past games. Like, the side smash attack, 
now that you mentioned that, that is a wonder why he didn't go for that on reaction there. Maybe he wanted to uh, not stale, or I'm not sure, but it seems like M-Smash would have been the safer play there. Maybe he didn't have confidence in the punish. He, went, he just went with his gut instinct, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Happens every game yeah. with every player. And now we're just, we did, that was a great fadeaway, fadeaway forward air. You know, it's optimally spaced, managed to catch a forward air, now kills in this game compared to Smash 4 with Mega Man. Yep. And you notice that once again, he goes for that Crash Bomber on Pac-Man's respawn. Um, not using it too much outside of that, but I can't blame him. It seems like it's sort of maybe not so useful in this matchup. It's kind of slow. You have to be pretty accurate with it as opposed to Leaf Shield, which is one giant hitbox after another. Oh, it's not that leaf shield again. Oh, you can this use that forward air. Good spot. That was a good forward air from Sinji because it, like he hit the hydrant, so it actually extended how active the hitbox is active for. All right, tossing on the hydrant there. See, and he retreats with the water too. Sinji's really good with that stuff as well. So up B, can't do it out of shield anymore. Changes off the crash bomber. All right, getting himself space. This is looking scarier the further that percent gets. Gets him off stage. He's going to have to try to convert, but he gets Pac-Man back to center stage. And he keeps challenging him with these forward errors again and again, just trying to push him back. But King Ark sitting at 126%. Since he's literally just one bell away from taking home this game. Speaking there it the is. devil. Yep, there it is. All right. Kicks through the Hydra. Very nice. Oh! Got to look out for that Hydra. Now, the time, timer is also not in King Ark's favor. We're reaching the 40 second that's mark. It. Yeah, that's it. Doesn't Good even matter, up. though. Hatches the bell, gets the back air, and Sinji's going to be taking game number one. Now, I think as far as that play went, that was pretty good, but Sinji was in his element towards the end, which is Pac-Man with a lead, mm. uh, and he has enough time to set up. Because once he sets up, if you don't directly avoid everything he's setting up and throwing your way, he's going to set up again. And again. And, and again. again. Yep. It's, so, it's always going to happen, especially on a stage like Final Destination where there's like no platforms for you to like try to like run away from as well or like hide on. So now we're going to Kalos Pokemon League, which may be a good stage for Mega Man, but this is like one of Pac-Man's best stages. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what comes from this. We'll see. I assume he's doing that for a bit more pressure uh, off stage and tumbles off the side. But this is exactly but. what he wants to do. He, yes. The second the match started, immediately retreats to that platform. He's going to camp there and try to get bonus fruit. Mm -hmm. Maybe that he feels confident and the ability to um, shark the platform there because it is quite off stage. And if he's up there, that means that it's a little bit harder to have Fire Hydrant come into play, which is a big deal. But we'll see. Already, King Ark's got him off stage here. Still trying to hold center stage, but gets caught by the grab. Oh, <laughs> what a punish. That was Just goes for the crash bomb. I mean, it works. It did work. Yo, uh, speaking of Pac-Man showing the Nikes out here, he's not afraid of no grenade when he's got the mm. shoes on. You know what I mean? He's got the kicks. Oh, yeah. That is the correct response, by the way, to Hydrant. If you read that, you want to meet him in the air, go out of the side, and come back in with a good aerial. That was a great play by King Ark. Well, play, trade neutral. Trying All to right. get him with the down air. Hold on a sec. Yep. All right, returning back to that platform. And see, he has to come out of his way, out of his little uh, camping tent over there. He's got to unzip the flap and toss that hydrant out if he wants to put it out for meaningful pressure. Does come back to center stage. Ooh, and unfortunately for Sinji, I, he, wait, did he go for a grab right there? Is that what that was? Uh, I'm like, not sure. was Oh! Does it matter, though? Okay. Does it really matter, okay. though? Okay, I see you, King Art. <laughs> Gonna get that spike off stage. I mean, the thing is, that, I mean, that, that's a good call because Sinji's kind of been recovering the same way mm -hmm. before all that. Could have just been uh, preconditioning for King Arc. That is another thing, is that this stage does limit recoveries for people who like to recover into the stage. Uh, Pac-Man, maybe not so much a, a proponent of that, but it does make it easier for him to go for um, the Knuckle, the down air, which is a very good disjointed Meteor, very good to try to get those early kills against Pac-Man, so you can see it. Yeah, that's also like why, you know, this is a great stage for Mega Man. It's because the downer is really good at catching spikes for, for those people that recover like that. Mm -hmm. So here he's spacing out. He's actually not putting on too much pressure here. He's fine taking his time. Kalos, um, I think it's the same length as both FD and Battlefield now, correct? It, I mean, it is a pretty big stage. It is. It's got that grand feel to it. Oh, carries him off the top. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, Sinji being extremely aware of what the up airs have the potential to do. Not going to commit to that double jump instead. He back down on the ground. Got his bell ready to go. Yep. Oh Catches my god. He's him into a back air. Sinji's been on point with getting these conversions. Yeah, absolutely. He was like, okay, I recognize this setup. I'm not going to play into this. And then he still got clipped by the bell right after. Sinji's like, you think this pressure is over? No. Nah, I've played happening. this character for years. 
All right. Good call on there. Forward smash was a nice job. Still living. Good DI. Mm -hmm. Saw a back throw coming. We saw the sparks as well. But King Eric's still going to be able to live through that. Applying a lot of shield pressure there. It rolled right into the belt. I feel like King Eric's playing a little sloppy right now. That? So I think what that was is that he was trying to... Oh, okay. He's got the air dodge. Yeah. I thought he did. <laughs> I thought he SD'd. And that's also something that helps a lot with Mega Man's recovery is the ability to be able to like air dodge upwards with him. Yes. Absolutely. A uh, lot of characters, honestly, benefit from that little bit of extra distance. Even characters who traditionally have pretty poor, uh, Krom, Roy, all that, have a little bit more ability to mix up, a little bit better ability to come back. Kills Did him he off jump? the top. I think he double jumped. He There's, might have. Like, he went flying. Very gentle kill off the top. You yeah, know, and Pac-Man doesn't have a death sound, so we're just kind of like, wait, did he just die? <laughs> <laughs> Pac-Man doesn't want to cause a ruckus, you know. 70% and almost gets him sure? on the kill over that. Are you Jesus. sure he doesn't want to cause a ruckus? Because he was going off stage. Never mind. Tons of back airs. Man's the silent but deadly type. He's coming in. Fighting for control of the apple. All right. <laughs> that would that would be a pretty good NYC tournament name. Fight for control of the apple. It's a picture. Of, whoa, my God! Again, what? No, it's because when you double jump or just jump normally in the middle oh, of up there, it sucks it you, up, you it flying. Sucks you uh, ooh, beefy damage with the key and the hydrant on there. One thirty-one percent. Not looking particularly good, but he can bring this back. It's going to be a real test of patience, though. Goes for the key again. Since he's not playing around, he's looking for the kill. Here, Dodge. All right. Let's there dodge right through him instead. King Ark is sitting at 158%, throws the key, catches him pushing buttons. It doesn't matter how safe your attacks are from that distance, jab. that key is coming fast. Jab at that range. Punished. He's got to watch out for that. That's scary, though, man. It's scary not to put hitboxes out and try to threaten Pac-Man, but it's scarier to eat that. Yeah, I mean, key. like you left your home keys, your keys at home, man. <laughs> there you go. So Sinji's going to be moving on to winner's finals. Guaranteed top three here at 151. No surprise here. He got third last week. He's won Zeno's in the past. He's usually getting into the top two. A lot of uh, grand finals at Zeno have been between Sinji and uh, Venya. So not a shocker to see him in winner's finals whatsoever. Not at all. He's a very consistent, very powerful player, and he's got a lot of that experience coming over from Smash 4. Um, I can't remember if it's from his mouth particularly, but... Uh, I want to know what this is. Not too many changes from Pac-Man, like a couple of oh, buffs yeah. and a couple of small things. But he plays his grab works. It, <laughs> if 